All right, it's time for another review. And today I'm going to talk about the app that I'm using for daily is called Node Shelf. And actually there's Node Shelf 2.0. So let's check it out. So yes, yeah, so I'm talking about something that helps me during dailies to take notes and it's on an iPad and it's an app. Now that sounds very excessive. I know it sounds potentially very expensive if you gotta have this and you gotta have that. I totally understand, but hear me out. In my almost 16 years as an animator, I have used multiple things to take notes and it's a lot of times stuff like that. I'm not gonna show you the notes, but notes, right? Sometimes it's small. I'm a lefty, right? so I take notes, I make sounds. Or <laughs> another Office Max, because again, I'm a lefty and sometimes that, I'm a lefty, this hurts. So sometimes I take notes like this, silly. Or I use this one, so then I can flip it like this and I can take notes. So, so I've done this for a long time, this. And then I used my iPad and you can use the notes apps. I've tried all kinds of apps and there are many, many apps out there for notes and they're really, really good, but I'm sticking with one. That's the one that I'm showing you. But now that being said, I tried the iPad and then I went back to notebooks. And I'm going, really, do I really need this? And I'll explain to you why I do really need this. But I did get this from work, which is really neat. And it even comes with this. Which is really cool. Great present, I've used this a lot, but at the end, no. So why no? So one of the reasons is that in daily rooms, it's usually very dark. So you don't see much when you take notes. It depends on the room, but a lot of times it's pretty dark. So you can take your phone and kind of tap it with the light and it's just kind of cumbersome to hold this, right? I don't know, it's just, it's just not that easy. So one of the main reasons why then I switched to this is because there's light. And I could write in dark daily rooms. It's already that is a huge convenience, but I know, I know it's very expensive for that. You can just use a little tiny cheap, flashlight. I know this is really very limited to people who have an iPad and want to take that for dailies. But if you do and you are interested in an app, I recommend Note Shelf. Go on their website. I'll put that link in the description. It shows you all the features. You can obviously take notes, record audio, mark up PDFs, add photos, and it has that shape thingy. If you do a crappy circle, it makes it into a good one. Again, it shows you everything as integration into your Apple Watch. You can upload it to the usual suspects here for your cloud. It even works on your uh, phone if you have one as well. But the phone doesn't work with the pencil, which is too bad. I would love to have even just on my phone be able to quickly take the notes. But let's switch to Note Shelf. So you can create, I mean, you have a quick selection here to create your book. You can have a new one. You put in your color, your name, and there are lots of options just to kind of decorate this if you so desire. I don't really care too much. These are empty books. I just created that. So you can see there is a list. But I usually stick with obviously that one show that I'm working on. And there we go. Come on, I had to do it. So in here, as a quick overview, if you need to go back to different shows, for me at least, I'm going to call these shows, I can go back to here. Also, if I have a quick access through here, I can see all my notes quickly and I can access these very, very fast. I can have bookmarks, I can have search functions. Again, you can also just go through your pages like that, which again, I won't really linger on because these are confidential things. So if I have a shot, so whatever shot, blah, right? That's my shot. And you can, you can have all kinds of thing is you can have different colors if you want any type of markers for whatever you know however you want to do this or you have your pen and here you have different pen versions you got pen sizes so you can go really thick or you can go really thin and because it's the apple pencil you can go and do scribbles and finer scribbles. So it's all very detailed. That app supports all of that. You can quickly erase the whole page and so on. So for me, the convenient thing is that if I have a shot, I'm gonna use you know, a big size here so you can see this. So I have shot, blah, blah, blah. I have shot, blah, blah, blah. And I have shot, blah, 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 blah. Right, you get all kinds of notes and blah, 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 blah. Now, if I go back to a notebook, Yes, I can write things down. So I have this, if I want to mark something about like a tutorial that we have to write down or specific notes, but that's kind of it. And you end up looking and going back because we go back and forth between stuff that I wrote for someone that had a lecture, something about a new software or just notes and need to go back on specific shots. Or if I want to go back to notes that I had a couple weeks ago. So it just, it gets very cumbersome to go back and find things. I know, first world problem. But what I love about this is that once I have this and I can say, well, I'm done. I don't need this anymore. You can erase this however you want to. The awesome part is that I can take this, select this and quickly reshuffle. 
I can go over here, bring this here, over here, bring this here. So when I'm done with shots and some notes are still outstanding, I can still bring them up and then rearrange this. And if I need to delete this, I can do it like that. Of course, I can also clear the whole page. But being able to quickly go back to all kinds of notes, and if I have this, I can say, well, I want to edit this and I want to delete this, 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 and so on. And I'm not going to delete this now, but you could. Even if you have this here and you want to say, well, I want to take this page and I want to reorganize this and move it like this. So many, many ways to organize this, search for things, you can tag this. There are all kinds of ways where you can customize and make this work for you. And that after multiple apps that I've used and also multiple actual notebooks, this has been for me the fastest way A, to take notes, to reorganize notes, because at the end for me, anything that saves me time helps me as I work at work. Going back, finding notes, reorganizing. You might have five shots and then three of them are final, but then you have previous shots and then you have to kind of flip back. And again, this is extremely first world problem. You also have the option to write and you have all kinds of ways to organize this. And if, if you prefer not to take notes like this and you need to change things into actual type, of course that is there as well. And then you have this option that if you need to, <laughs> it takes all my horrible things and makes them all cleaner in whatever shapes. Again, you got many, many options. You can share this. And again, you can look at your pages here. You have options here with the stylus, Siri, all kinds of types of styly. Uh, again, in here you can add new pages, you can add photos, you can add any type of audio if you want to. The options are pretty big. There are many, many options. And even in here, you can customize a ton of stuff. So if you go to the App Store, you have it here. Oh, there's actually an update. You have to pay for it. I can't remember if there's a free version and then you can pay. I don't remember because I've had this for quite some time. There was no shelf one, there's no shelf two. I'm actually gonna update this. And again, it shows you here the different ways of how you can write and note and organize and make it visually pleasing any way you want. There are a ton, a ton of options. Now, if you do have an iPad and you just want to take quick notes, you can also take your pen and tap on this and it goes straight into the notes app and you can scribble. I mean, you can, and this is a perfectly fine notes app, but for me, nothing beats this app in terms of quick access, customizing things and the convenience and just the time saving aspect of it, which to me is really important at work. Anything that I can do that speeds up my workflow. And it's not just workflow about working in your graph editor and your tangent and how you animate and the hotkeys, all that stuff. For me, workflow extends to the whole day at work, going through dailies, taking notes, meetings, whatever I can do can condense the time. It just helps me when I go through my day to day activities at work. It just anything that saves me time, two thumbs up and if I have more thumbs, more thumbs. And no, I'm not sponsored. I'm just saying I just like this and try it out. Sometimes I want to use my iPad and then the batteries are dead because I forgot something or something was on. I forgot to charge. Yes, I still go back to these. But if I have the choice between this and this, I'm going to use my iPad. There you go. That's it. Those are my thoughts on Note Shelf 2. Of course, if you have an app that you think is better after watching all of this, I'm very curious. I want to know more. So let me know in the comments. I want to know more about better apps. But for now, I'm sticking with Note Shelf 2. But there you have it. I'm going to end it here. The usual thing, like and subscribe if you want to. But I do upload it a lot. So if you want to subscribe and hit that bell button, it might be helpful so you get all the notifications. You know the drill. I'm going to say this all the time. That being said, if you are still watching this and listening to this, I do highly appreciate it. I know these are valuable minutes and hours potentially out of your life but i'm gonna say that is it and i will see you next week for more uploads